Hello friends, Coolio here. Now before we start this video, I just want to let you know that you can have a chance at winning a free skin from me. Now in order to get a chance to win a free skin, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel, like this video, and then comment down below your in-game name and what skin you want as long as it's under 500 vouchers. Also just let you guys know that this is only for the EU servers and the NA servers in the future. Alright, thanks friends, now let's get back to the video. Hello friends, my name is Coolio and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to break down 8 tips that I wish I knew when I first started playing Arena of Valor. Now these aren't necessarily geared towards gameplay but rather towards various systems the game has to offer that may not be as apparent to most beginning players. Most veterans may already know most of the stuff on this list and if you are a veteran player and have anything you want to share outside of these 8 tips let us know down below in the comment section. Now to start off with our first tip has to deal with the camera functionality in the game. Now the game sets the camera to a default position above your hero's head without the option to move it. Well if you want to get a better idea of what is happening around the battlefield then I suggest you unlock the camera. Now in order to do this head over to the option menu during a match and on the general tab you'll see a slider for camera movement. Now I recommend setting it to slide and then adjust the sensitivity to the way that you like it. Now this option to be able to move the camera can help out a ton when deciding on whether to engage enemies, push lanes, or how well teammates are doing outside of your regular view. Now my next tip is in regards to targeting, specifically targeting what you want to hit. What I mean by that is if you have played any time in Arena of Valor, you may have come across a time where your default targeting of skills and basic attacks doesn't always land on the target you want to hit. Well, in order to change that, let's head over to the settings, click on the control tab and switch attack mode to minions and towers and avatar lock mode to show avatars for available targets. What this does is allow you to select certain enemies for locking on abilities and allows you to continue attacking towers or minions based off of your situation rather than your basic attack switching to a different target. My third tip is utilizing pro builds. These are preset builds for specific heroes used by the community with them being organized by how many wins that specific build has won. Now just a disclaimer, these builds may not be the best for the situation or playstyle you may be looking for, however they are extremely useful especially for players that don't want to spend time trying to learn and build specific loadouts for heroes and would rather pick a pro build and jump into a match. My next tip is to try out heroes in their hero trials. Every hero has the option to test them out on a controlled map against an AI opponent in which you can control what level your hero is along with the enemy's AI's level as well as how much gold you have and the ability to test out new builds. I find it incredibly useful if you're looking to find a new hero to unlock or you just unlocked a new hero and want to give it a test drive. Also a small recommendation when receiving new heroes, please do not test them out and rank play first. Try them in hero trial, bot matches, and casual matches, but don't start off with ranked matches first. Now talking about getting new heroes, some of you may have noticed that certain heroes are only available for unlock through the lucky draw system, which requires a special currency called magic crystals in order to try your luck. Now you can buy these crystals with real money by buying vouchers and then exchanging the vouchers for the magic crystals. Or if you don't want to spend real money, you have the option to use gems to buy magic crystals. Now where you go and buy these is a little hidden away. What you want to do is head over to the shop and then hit on the gem shop tab. Now up at the top select daily and then you will see you have the option of buying magic crystals for 250 gems. Now there is a daily limit of 5 total magic crystals you can buy in a day but at least you don't have to fork over tons of money to unlock Malak now. Okay, so we have talked about mechanics outside the battlefield, so let's check on some on the battlefield itself. Now on the top and bottom lanes, right in the middle of each lane, you will find what is called the Ghost Falcon. Now I'm not entirely sure on the name of this mob, but if you do know, please let me know down below. Now this isn't your regular mob, but rather an extremely useful tool for surveying enemy territory. Once killed, it grants gold and experience, but is also transformed into an orb of light that will begin to travel through the enemy's jungle and reveal anything that comes within its radar. I highly recommend taking this mob down as it gives a great advantage over enemy junglers and assassins. And since the game doesn't have any wards, this is our best way of keeping our backs safe. 
Next up is a tip for after finishing a match. Now you will notice small symbols next to your character's portrait symbolizing different achievements you accomplished in the match. If you want to see what these achievements are, tap on the icons and a list of what the icons represent will pop up. It has achievements like most gold, triple kills, and even bad ones for abandoning and remaining idle. Now the last tip I have for you is probably one of the biggest and most helpful tips I received for when I don't have a lot of time to play full matches. So when you first join the game, you have the chance at unlocking a ton of free heroes through the Road of Glory. Now in order to unlock the heroes, you must play 3 games that day to receive them. Now if you want to unlock them extremely fast, I recommend playing in the 3 vs 3 game mode rather than the 5 vs 5. Now the main game mode can take anywhere between 15 to 25 minutes to complete, while I have finished a 3 vs 3 in less than 4 minutes. Now run through those in 15 minutes and you have finished your road of glory for the day, as well as your daily chest once you have finished the road to glory and unlock all those new champions as well as tons of gold and experience. Well my friends, those are my 8 tips for beginning players. If you like the list, let me know down below in the comments, and if you have any tips of your own, go ahead and share them with us. Also don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more Arena of Valor videos. See you guys.